hi everyone welcome back to sahab academy today in the second video of abc analysis a technique of inventory control we are going to solve this question from the ics study material which is based on abc analysis and this is illustration 8 from material costing chapter okay so here what we are going to understand is how we will break this inventory into three different categories category a b and c if you can see the question right now here you can see we have 12 different items in our inventory okay 12 different items now these 12 different items have to be grouped under just three categories yeah that is what we have to learn right now how we are going to do that we have understood the concept and everything in the previous video isn't it yes if you don't know the concept of abc analysis this technique of inventory control then please watch this first video and you will completely understand in very much detail with examples and everything what this technique is all about okay yeah i will put the links in the description below as well as in the i button fine so now let's go ahead let's just uh read this question see here from the following details draw a plan of abc selective control yes abc analysis is what selective control yeah we categorize our inventory into three different categories yeah and then we place selective controls we discriminate in category A, we place tight controls. In category B, medium controls. And in category C, basic controls. Isn't it? This is yes. So see here we have been given the items. 12 different items are there. And these are the number of units. The quantities. Okay. Item 1, 7,000. Item 2, 24,000 units. Item 3, 1,500 units. And so on. And then here we have the unit cost. Unit cost is what? unit cost is the cost per unit right it is just the price of single quantity yeah single quantity but that is not important for us important thing is we need value isn't it when we understood the concept of abc analysis yeah what we said percentage in terms of quantity and percentage in terms of value not price we didn't say price per unit value value means total cost isn't it we have to multiply units with the unit cost will get the value okay we'll get the total cost is it clear so that's what we are going to calculate now let's just go to the solution and let's just see how this will be solved now see here we have the solution it's really simple and straightforward the first step is what you have to do is you have to gather all data and calculate the total cost and then you have to do the ranking okay it's really simple and straightforward let me show you how you are going to do this okay so see here first you will take the item column okay sometime it will be code number or sometime name of the item will be given okay so item 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 okay 12 different items are there those are the names of the items okay so you have taken that and then you will take the units column as it is from the question 7000 24000 1500 and so on and then you will take a sum of this and the sum is equal to 2,19,000 this is the total inventory in quantity okay in quantity the total inventory is 2,19,000 then what you have to do is you will have to calculate percentage of total units yeah what is the item one percentage of total inventory is it clear how much it comprises of that's what you have to calculate how will you calculate that it's really simple 7,000 units are there of item one out of the total inventory which is 2 lakh 19000 you will just divide that and then in 200 you will get 3.1963 percentage is it clear yeah 7000 divide by 2 lakh 19000 in 200 that's equal to 3.1963 okay is that clear yes this is how you will calculate if you want to see the formula see percentage of total units units of the item 7000 divided by total units 2 lakh 19000 we got it 3.1963 in 200 yes of course we are calculating percentage is it clear yes but but to do this it will take so much time yeah because the items are so much 12 items are there so what you have to do is see you have to apply one trick what is the trick cross multiplication trick see here what you have to do is <clears throat> you have to take this 100 okay and divide it by 2 lakh 19 okay you have to cross multiply basically yeah if 2 lakh 19 thousand is 100 percent then how much is 7 thousand percent that is what you have to do 
fine so see here it's really simple what will you do is 100 divide by 2 lakh 19 thousand okay and then you will press multiply sign two times okay multiply two times this button and then 7000 equal to 3.1963 okay you got the percent right and then next is how much 24,000 so 24,000 equal to 10.95 yeah then you have 1500 so 1500 equal to 0 0.684 yeah and then you have 600 so 600 equal to okay like this you have to go on did you understand this 100 divided by 2 lakh 19 see 100 divided by 2 lakh 19 and then just go on okay press multiply multiply two times and then just go on yeah 7000 equal to 24000 equal to 1500 equal to 600 equal to like that okay 38000 equal to 17.35 then 40000 we have 40000 equal to is it clear this is how you have to let me just show you once again see 100 you have taken 100 divide by 2 lakh 19 multiply two times and then directly okay 7000 equal to equal to and then i can go over here also 300 equal to see here 300 equal to 0 0.136 okay it's 137 rounded off then see here 11500 is there yeah directly i'm just jumping just to show you 11500 sorry 11500 equal to 5.25 you see this 5.25 percentage this is how you have to do it is it clear so did you understand how will you calculate this percentages easily through the simple calculator i'm not using the scientific calculator because that's not allowed in exam fine so you understood this then you will take the unit cost okay unit cost is also directly given in the question isn't it see unit cost is given 5 3 10 22 and so on so you will take all the unit cost okay now you will have to calculate total cost as i said now for ranking purpose we need what total cost so to calculate total cost we have to multiply units with the unit cost really simple 7000 into 5 that's 35000 24000 into 3 that's 72000 yeah so you will multiply units with unit cost and you will get the total cost simple okay and then make a sum of that after that you have to repeat the same thing that calculator trick only here also to calculate percentage of total cost yeah item one total cost is 35000 so what is that percentage of the total cost of the inventory that is what you need to calculate total cost of item you have to take yeah 35000 35000 divide by 355 770 355 that's equal to something into 100 you will get the percentage this is the simple way to calculate percentage 9.83 fine but we'll not use this we'll use the trick to do it faster what's the trick how will you do it take this 100 divided by 3 lakh 55 770 3 lakh 55 770 and then multiply two times and then just see the number see 35000 you have first thing item 1 35000 equal to 9.83 we have got it then 72000 72000 equal to 20.23 see and then next we have 15000 equal to 4.2162 right and then we have 13200 you understand right 3.71 is it clear simple yeah, this is how you will do it yeah and all of this will add up to 100 only because it's 100 percent yeah it has to add up to 100 percent only is it clear that's why i'm taking this 100 100 means what 100 percent this is 100 percent these are all percentages okay fine i hope you know that <laughs> right then you have to do the ranking highest cost will be rank one and the lowest cost will be rank the last rank okay here we have 12 items so i have written over here rank 12 but if you have let's just say 10 items then the lowest cost will be rank 12 okay so how will you rank see it's really simple the highest cost is c of this isn't it 22.9 so this is rank 1 and then you have c 20 rank 2 and then you have 16 c rank 3 and then c 
9, rank 4. So this is how you have to do the ranking. After doing the ranking, what you have to do? You have to rearrange all of this. So you understood this statement? Simple, no? you understood, right? This is not tough, this is very easy. Fine. Now, after calculating the total cost and the rankings, now what we have to do is we have to make an assumption. See here, basis for selective control. 50,000 rupees and above the total cost, A items. 15,000 to 50,000 B items, below 15,000 rupees C items. What is this? This is the assumption that ICI has made in the solution that uh, we have calculated total cost, right? So whatever items will have total cost of 50,000 and above will be there in A category. And whatever items which has, you know, 15,000 to 50,000 total cost will go in B category. And then below 15,000 cost item will go in the C category. Now, this is up to you. You don't have to follow ICI. Okay, you can make your own assumption. Yeah, you can say 40,000 and above A items. Yeah, 15 to 40,000 B items. Below 15,000 C items. Yeah, whatever you want, you can do that. Is it clear? ICI has done like this 50,000 and above, 15,000 to 50,000, below 15,000. It's completely up to you. Is it clear? You just have to make an assumption. You just have to decide the band. I gave you an example in the previous video also, isn't it? I told you in that cell phone example that we'll have three categories in our inventory of mobile phone. The first one will be the flagships, then the mid-range, and then the, uh, what do you say, low budget phones, right? Here I told you below 20,000 phones, and then here I told you 20 to 50,000 phones, yeah, rupees. And then 50,000 to 150,000 iPhones and S series galaxies and all, you know, folds and everything will come in the first category that is category A, right? So you can do this categorization, I mean this assumption on your own, okay? It's your shop, it's your organization, you know, you can decide whatever you want, right? Yes. So now what you have to do is we have already done the step one that is, you know, statement of total cost and ranking. We know the total cost, we know the rankings also, isn't it? Yes. So we have to rearrange this in the ranking order. 1 to 12 in proper order we have to arrange this and that is what has been done over here see here on this basis a plan of abc selective control is given below yeah here what are we doing abc analysis only right according to the ranking we have sorted out the all items yeah rank one is which item item number 11 so you have to go in the previous table you have already done all the calculation you don't have to do any calculation anymore See here, item number 11, you just have to copy everything. Yeah, see here, you need percentage of total units. Percentage of total units is there over here, 5.25. And then you need cost, total cost, 81,650, 81,650. And then percentage of total cost, that is 22.9502, right? So you have taken that, is it clear? So this way you have to take all the items in the ranking order, okay? See here. Rank number two is item number two only, coincidentally. Yeah, rank number two is item number two. So just take percentage of total units, 10.95, and then total cost, 72,000. And then percentage of total cost, 20.23 something. That also you have taken. So similarly, you have to take everything like this. Is it clear? So you can easily understand right now. It's simple, yeah? The same thing you have to do. You have to take everything, fine? All in the ranking order. And then what you have to do is, it's really simple. The category A is what? Total cost has to be 50,000 and above. Total cost is this, right? 50,000 and above, first three items, isn't it? Rank one, two, three, yeah, item number 11, item number two, item number five, they have the total cost 50,000 and above, 81,650, 72,000, 57,000. And then this one, you know, rank number four, item one has 35,000, which is below you know, below 50,000. So it will go in the B category. Yeah, in this category. You understood, right? This is how you'd have to do the categorization. You have made the assumption on your own basis. Okay, right? If it is given in the question, then you'll go according to the question, but it's not given in the question and mostly it will not be given in the question. You have to make an assumption, right? You have to decide the bands. Yeah, how you will categorize, how you will break the inventory. Yeah, on total cost uh, basis, right? You have to break on total cost basis and then you will put them in these categories. See, first three items has went into the category A, 
okay above 50,000 total cost is it clear 50,000 and above and then this is just a total that you know they have made now it's not necessary you have to do it over here only you can do it separately in this column also okay yeah you can do it separately also fine so this is category a and then the category b c 15,000 to 50,000 right see 35,000 25,000 20,000 15,000 all these are within this band 15,000 to 50,000 so all these are what category b items how many items are there four items are there yeah item number one item number 12 item number six item number three they have ranking of what four five six seven yeah yes so this is category b and then category c is what below 15,000 below 15,000 so you just have to see total cost 13,200, 12,000, 11,600, 10,500, 2,500 all are below 15,000 so all of them will go where they will go in C category okay so in total there will be five items is it clear and then you'll have to make a grand total now this grand total is what it's really simple item are 12 only yeah and this has to be 100 person only isn't it yes and total cost you already know you don't have to add or something see here it's really simple it's already there 3 like 55 770 that's a total cost of course the whole total cost of inventory will never change no matter what categorization you do and all the whole inventory cost will remain the same only just these things will what do you say you're calculating just three items over here here uh, four items here five items so just this sum you will have to do okay fine so, and then this hundred percent only fine right category wise just you'll have to add yeah you just have to make a sum that's all fine so you have category a category b and category c and you all know the control yeah how the management discriminates in controlling the categories category a is tightly controlled isn't it and the control in category b is medium and in c it is very minimum it is very basic okay yeah so that's all it was really simple okay i hope you have understood this that's all for this video see you in the next video bye